my canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing mechanical bull. This is like 30 seconds work. Oh. Then we're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. You will have six hours to complete your portrait tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. To do a portrait, your accuracy has to be 100% on point. One little difference in any part of a face and your portrait looks completely off. There's no way around it. There are a lot of moles back here. I know. My question is, if it's not the back, what do you suggest? Do you got things on your legs at all? No. I would probably suggest legs, I guess. My canvas wants a tattoo on her back, but it is moly back there. I need to tattoo her somewhere else. Who won the flash challenge, Jimmy? Yes. I guess he screwed you, huh? If she's going to stick to her guns, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll end up with a portrait of her mother on my leg. Yeah, this is good, right, Ma? Yeah. See it? I th yeah. We decide we're going to tattoo her on her calf. She's not a big girl, and it's a lot of detail in this small spot. Every wrinkle, every strand of hair, every eyelash is going into this tattoo. I can't believe the work that goes into this. I have to at least try to take this home for my family. I can't keep being the bottom of the barrel. We make sure you tell him if he's doing something wrong. Kyle's looks like a ball of raisins kind of like smashed together. Is that horrible for me to say? He should be trying to soften her face and just show the main shapes of her face rather than every single wrinkle. 15 minutes. Oh, Kyle, I love it. Oh, <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh, it's perfect. There's no better test of adaptability than a cover up. You knew it. Called it. Cover ups are tricky because trying to place the design over top of an existing design, you need to be able to manipulate that picture and put things in the right place so you cannot tell that's a cover up. Tattoos are forever, and only about 15% of the people who get them regret their decision. Yeah. However, the number one reason for regretting a tattoo is a failed relationship. Your canvases today made that mistake, and they're counting on you to help them fix it. Based on your work, two of you will be closing shop. Good luck. Adaptability is important in a cover-up tattoo because you take what's existing, create something around it, and you have to become a magician and make it disappear. My canvas wants an engine. It's called the intake. See how it comes out of either side of the head. Yep. When you go in for a cover-up, the best idea to have is no idea. I've been building motorcycles since I was three. We're having to cover up your mistake. So coming with this very specific idea that might not work is just a bad idea. Do I know a lot about engines? No, but I know about tattoos. About I feel like this canvas is really gonna me over. I have no clue what a V-twin engine looks like. I'm not too experienced in new school. She wants a new school V-twin? Yeah. She doesn't want this big circle part. It's just an air cleaner. Well, isn't this attached to that hole behind there? Or no? Because that's what she wants. No. I'm pretty stressed right now. They're gonna cut another two artists. I could really be in trouble. You need a carburetor on it. What is that? That's a carburetor. It brings fuel into your heads. Even if I help Melissa, she's gonna fumble this one. Melissa's definitely not a threat to me because my tattoos are better. Okay, so if I just leave it open like this, I that can might do be that. better, yeah. My canvas is cranky. She can't sit worth is there any way to not rub it so hard? I'll try to just uh, do it very minimally, OK? She cannot take the pain. She's kind of a puss. I'm worried that my canvas is going to tap out, and I'm not even going to get to finish this stupid tattoo. I don't know how much more this I can take. OK, it's finished. Some of the most meaningful tattoos celebrate a personal victory. One of the greatest triumphs is surviving cancer. Your canvases today have all survived one of the deadliest forms, breast cancer. Many of them beat cancer by having a mastectomy to remove the breast. Some women choose to reconstruct their breasts, but the scars remain. And these scars are in a very sensitive area. So it's even more challenging to pull off a flawless tattoo, but that's exactly what you must do for these canvases. As a cancer survivor, I know what it's like to stare death in the face. This tattoo represents life, and it represents the good things that come out of fighting. 
Today we have to do the most important tattoo that we've ever had to do. It's one of the only tattoos you can give somebody that actually helps change their life. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. All right. These canvases are looking for great work out of these final four artists, and that's what we're hoping for as well. This is a way to not only commemorate what they've been through, but to beautify it. These guys need to really step up and give them everything they can. I wanted to get the cross on the one side because my mom died from breast cancer, and then flowers on the other side. So this is the one side that I've got mapped out for you. I know that I only have time enough to do one side, but now's not the time to bite off more than you can chew. Since we only have six hours and this is kind of a large tattoo, maybe just concentrate on one side. I just want to make sure that this one comes out the way it's supposed to. It looks like it's going to be beautiful. There's no room for error whatsoever in the tattoo today. Where the Whatever you need it. to do Ooh. to make it look good. To fall short at fourth place would just be a devastating loss for me. All the scars and no nipples. You just don't feel feminine. So I, I think the tattoo is going to bring back that feminine feeling for me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, machine's down, no more ink. Pretty? Yeah. You okay? Over the last several months, the three finalists and their master canvases endured 35 hours of tattooing to create the back pieces you're about to see tonight. Let's see how that went. This is the battle I've been waiting for my whole life. That title is mine. We're gonna do the heart really anatomic, like it's bloody and shiny and red. This tattoo screams Scott Marshall. It's gonna be the boldest tattoo that the judges have ever seen. Ready? Yep. I tend to think that Maddie's more of a bigger threat to me than Scott is. He really has nothing to lose. She's like the underdog. But Scott might be having some problems too because he's really heavy handed. <laughs> You gotta earn it too, you know what I mean? This is what she signed up for. This is what it's gonna take to win this competition. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> the finish line's like right there, you can see it. She has to be down for all 35 hours. I love tattoos until I got this one. <laughs> all right, we're done. Good God, it looks awesome. <laughs> No one is going to take that title away from me. I you know? love the amount of color you put into it. Please and Jason think they can take me out. They got another thing coming. I'm not leaving without the $100,000. Whoa. Clean doing the same style as me doesn't phase me at all. I want to take clean out throughout the whole competition, and this is how I'm going to do it with this final back piece. I've come too far to let her tap out right now. I feel super weird, like hot and cold at the same time. You want some water or something to drink? I have to get my canvas to sit through the rest of this tattoo. This is awesome. <laughs> There's no way the judge is going to look at this tattoo and not give me the win. This week, we're testing texture. Okay. Texture is an effect that makes the tattoo come to life. Bumpy, smooth, hairy. Without the texture, it just looks plain and cartoony. For this elimination tattoo, you must transform your canvas into an animal. What? what? Oh my gosh. How the f <laughs> does that even mean? All of the canvases want their skin made into animal skin. How does that work? Is that a joke? I don't think it is a joke. You want to turn yourself into an animal? How do you even do that? Holy <laughs> Today, you must tattoo in teams of four. What? What? Four? What do you mean, teams of four? All four of you must tattoo the same canvas what the? at the same time. Holy tug of war. Oh my God. <sighs> to get tattooed by one person for six hours already sucks. To get tattooed by four people in four different places, we're going to murder them today. It's insane. Every artist on your team must create consistent texture, or the tattoos won't match and the illusion will be destroyed. We're magicians, we're not tattooers. People ask you, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Well, on Ink Master, four of us tattooed one person at the same time and turned him into an animal. That's 
Weird. The teams are set. It's up to you as a team to decide which artist tattoos which body part. But once the tattoo begins, you can't switch the area you're tattooing. And this week, there will be no human canvas jury. You'll have six hours to transform your canvas into an animal. Good luck. How are you? Nice to meet you. Today, the most difficult part about this challenge is consistency. Our goal is that you leave here with something that looks awesome. It's important that all of these outlines and stencils match up and play well together so that this canvas transforms into one particular pattern throughout. The challenge is to transform her. If these two touched, two pieces together and two pieces together would be better than not. I'm excited about Chris being on the team because he's a Marine and I'm a soldier. We'll work together and let's get a stencil that works for everybody yeah, yeah. so that we can all do the same designs. I don't have my master here with me, so why not let a strong person take the lead? We'll coordinate how we're going to do it. We'll put out the same bottles of ink for everybody. Exactly. I'll show you guys how to do the background tones. We'll start with the brown spots, and then I'll work our way through. I feel good about that. Everybody yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. yeah. For me in this competition, it's go big or go home. I'm swinging for the fences and hitting a home run every time. So our idea is to cover as much canvas skin as possible so that it looks like her body's transforming into the cheetah. See the way I'm keeping that same line up? I'm just trying to be as randomly natural as possible. The idea is just to kind of follow my lead, watch how I do each part of the texture, and they're just going to duplicate what I do. Look them at the top end more than the bottom end? Yeah, exactly. I can see that. Perfect. I think we're all doing about the exact same pattern. That's great. Dave? Yeah, oh, sorry. When you do that, say moving. It's nerve-wracking working with three other people at once. I mean, it's a tight little space. Your elbow is actually going to be where my elbow is. Start loading you worst team player, Dave. Sorry if I keep tensing up a little bit. We're barely even started, and she is starting to complain. Help. Holy <laughs> Hang in there. Give me, like, five minutes, and I'm going to move to a different spot. Relax. No, I can do that spot. You have to. Mentally, you got to get there. She's starting to get fidgety. Relax, relax. Very intense. You gotta just relax. We will make it. It's not a good sign. Hello? I know it hurts. Listen, she's just trying and relax. Right? <laughs> we are so doomed. We still got a lot of work to do. Look up. If she taps out, she could be the ticket home for anybody on this team. There's no rush to go anywhere. <laughs> Look at me, look up. You're okay, all right? For her safety, for the safety of everybody here, she can't continue. He tapped her. We all saw that coming. We were so close. It's the last bit of detail that makes the texture. We are royally screwed. I'm really busy. I believe it. Jerama. I'm definitely feeling for Chris right now. He's my teammate. He's who I want to go to the end of this competition with. At this point, then I'm going down and discussing our case. Watch the snakehead be the only one that can sit for the tattoo. Oh, my god. Team Cheetah didn't finish her tattoo. Chris walked them into a battle that does not seem like there was any possible way for them to complete this tattoo. Good job getting her through four hours. Chris needs to take some sensitivity training for putting that girl through all that torture. Clean and errant. As the veteran artists, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in their honor, you will all be judged on precision. And I'll bet you can see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Just say it. There's no better test of precision than a portrait. Yep. I don't specialize in portraits, but I've done quite a few since season seven. The pressure's on you, because if you send us home, I'm going to be pissed. We're seeing the job, baby. We're yeah. seeing the job. A facial feature even a millimeter off could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must tattoo matching portraits on different canvases. Of course. That's crazy. Two days before we came here, Doom let me in on a little secret, which was that he has never done a portrait before. This might be the day we go home. Every portrait's difficult in its own way. Everybody's skin's different. Being that you have to do the same portrait on two different people, that's super hard. The key with this, I think, is communication. Get a game plan in your mind. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? You guys got your work cut out for you. You will have six hours to tattoo a precise portrait. Based on your work, one shop will be out. Good luck. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Yeah. 
Portraits are already a challenging job, but the kicker here is they both have to match. Let me see. It looks a little big. Yeah, on her, right? There's definitely gaps in some of these teams. Pretty much gonna be close to this actual size. Maybe okay. up here. We'll, yeah, we'll see we'll once see. we draw it out. For people that are not as strong as their teammate, that's a storm. It's my favorite day. I know you sit on the line that you wanted color. Yes. If we can't talk them down to at least a black and gray picture of her face, we're going home for sure. To get all the details and everything and, oh, and face. Yeah, have it really look like you if we focus on your face so it's bigger. All these details are going to be much more open and it's going to last better over time. I'm flexible with it. He is as well. Awesome. Those are the words I love to hear. <laughs> Unkindness heart, her portrait. It's phenomenal. It's the one. But if he doesn't step it up to her level, yeah, they can lose. What's up, Dem? God, you guys are flying. Holy crap. It is overly apparent that Doom has never done a portrait in his life. You know you're going to do it in this competition. Instead, you come in here and scratch something out on that dude's arm. That's ridiculous. really need you to relax your shoulders. The more tense you are, the worse it's going to be for both of us, so. My canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing, mechanical bull. Oh. This is like 30 seconds work. Oh. Then we're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. I can hear Aaron's canvas moaning from across the shop. Dane's tattoo turns red every time he touches the lady. I'm over here like a fish out of water. I don't know how Black Cobra figured out how to get us all at one time, but they definitely have. The Alliance is in trouble. You must have a solid strategy and trust in your team. Because today, you must tag team tattoo. Oh my. As a team, you will create one tattoo for one human canvas. Two artists from your team must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. What the shit? Whoa. Switching artists every hour. Because we all got to get on it. Yeah. Tag team tattoos can be challenging. You've got people wiping at different times. You've got people pulling lines at different times. You're in each other's space. But now at least Hiram can stop tattooing after an hour. Oh, it's harder than you think. You can tattoo any style or subject. Yes. But once again, the tattoo must prove your creativity. Gotta kill it. We can do that. Two people tattooing a canvas at the same time, especially that don't know each other's rhythms, can be bad. It's pretty big, guys. Nah, it's not that big. You become very alert and hesitant to pull because you think somebody's gonna mess with your canvas, and you're in your head, so it becomes a quick shit show. You gonna let Patrick pull all his clean lines? You know, what I'm gonna do is let my team win this challenge. Oh. Doing good? Yeah, it's just like my natural reaction. Yeah. My leg's like shaking, so try it and, sucks. Try and take some deep breaths, all right? I can feel you twitching just a little bit, so. That's really a good idea, guys. Like, look at you. Thinking outside the box. Using another person, just like gripping your thigh and pulling it apart as far as it'll go, it's painful. Watch her face. They make some flies. Next time that he does. Oh my god. It's like a bad dream. You'll be waking up soon. This canvas can't make it through the tattoo, man. We turning in an unfinished tattoo. And that's definitely not what we want to do. So we gotta put Jordy on therapist duty. Take deep breaths. Oh. oh. You're at 98%. 98%. Keep it up, Jordy. I don't give a damn what you talk about. Just keep on talking. You're doing great. You're doing great. How's the canvas doing? Horrible. Yeah. I can tell within 10 minutes in the tattoo. Mm. They're gripping somebody like that that hard to hold them down while you tattoo them is not a strategy. Today, you must tattoo. Here it is, guys. A portrait. It's about time. Yeah. Finally, this is my time to shine. Of a senior citizen. What? Ooh. Leatherface. That's so much little detail. Senior citizen portraits are difficult because you want to capture the likeness of that person, but you don't want to overdo their wrinkles because you'll make their entire face look leathery and scary. 
You know, it's coming eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Portrait day. Doing portraits of senior citizens is tough. There is obviously age on skin. Skin does different things when age occurs. It's a really red photo, so. Black and gray be better? I think it might be. If you do everything HD, there's no way this portrait's gonna look good. You have to know how to soften some things, capture what it is that makes that person that person. What I'll probably do is to treat things like in her expression. That's fine. Being over precise in a portrait when it comes to wrinkles and folds, for most artists is the kiss of death. I just gotta make sure when I blow this thing up that I don't lose a lot of detail because this is a tiny, tiny photo. I'm beyond frustrated right now because I thought Jarrell would definitely have my back. Such a shitty photo. Tiny. I can't even make out that that's even hair. I can't tell where the eyes are. The hair is pretty much the same tone as most of the skin. Just pay attention to the shapes. I know, I've done portraits, man, but you know that it's all about the reference. This is easily the hardest reference to work with in the room. I think you me. I, uh, I don't understand what he did with these pics. It's obvious what he did with these pics. He tried to help out the West. It looks just like him. Yeah? You can see him? That's good. The only real critique that I need. See, look what you did. <laughs> I'm focusing on giving my canvas a tattoo that will honor that love that she has for her grandfather. I can make today more about that relationship than about whether or not Jarrell stabbed us all in the back. Mm -hmm. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Mm -hmm. You're doing super well, don't quit now. Oh, I'm not quitting, don't you <laughs> worry. I'm not gonna quit, I am not a quitter. Good. Everyone's been saying I'm a one-trick pony, and I wanted to prove everybody wrong. Oh, my God. I feel like Jarrell's taken that away from me by giving me the hardest one in the room. I'll give you a minute, OK? OK. This chick will not sit still. She won't? When I get done, I'll come over there and hang out. I'm up against so many odds that I don't know if I can make it past. <sighs> oh. Sorry. I'm just trying to do a good portrait, not just a finished portrait. I know? appreciate it. I'm going as easy as I possibly can on her, but I don't know if she's going to sit through this thing. You have 30 minutes, OK? Oh. Just please let me finish it. Word, dude. Jimmy's canvas is all over the place. The best thing I can do to make sure that he can finish his tattoo is just talk to her. There's still strength in numbers. You got a portrait of? Oh, my granddad. Your granddad? He's a World War II vet. Oh, yeah? You're earning this one. You're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. We finished. <laughs> I feel like I just gave birth. I feel like I just gave birth. <laughs>